guys, this is Seth Turin back again. Today is our third and final tutorial on creating bots for liquidity farming. The last two tutorials focused on how to get money from USDC into a liquidity pool and then how to stake our liquidity pool tokens to earn even more money on them. After that, we looked at how to automatically harvest and then compound our earnings to feed back into this farm. Today, we're going to look at how to exit our position entirely and turn this back into USDC. By now, you've already seen me do this a few times, so I'm not going to demonstrate it through the website. And we're just going to jump directly into making our bot. So let's start by adding a new tab. I'm going to right click and rename it withdraw. I'm going to come over to my other tab. I'm going to control C, copy my UI and main browser, and I'm going to come back over here and then copy my config DeFi wallet. And we're ready to begin, but first let's just take a quick look at where we're starting. Right now I have about $25 worth of LP tokens staked in this farm. If I click on MetaMask up here, I have about $1 in BNB and $1 in USDC. All right, let's hop back over to Ubot. The first thing we want to do is withdraw from our farm. Hit OK and I'll drag withdraw from farm. And what farm do we want? That's a good question. Why don't we go and copy from our compound script? Control C, copy, back to our withdraw tab, and we'll paste this in here. And just to remind you from last time, all I'm doing is setting a variable that finds the farm name according to what tokens are in it. All right, so I'm gonna edit this now, and we're gonna put farm here. And for the amount, I wanna drag get farm balance. Farm is gonna be our farm variable, and hit OK. Let's jump to our other tab so that we can copy our log object, go back over to withdraw, and paste that right here. Okay, once we have our LP tokens back, we want to remove our liquidity. So we're going to drag the remove liquidity command. Token A is Doge, token B is BNB, and the amount is going to be the balance of our liquidity pool. So we're gonna drag get liquidity pool balance. The exchange is PancakeSwap. Token A again is Doge, token B, again is BNB. Hit OK and we can copy and paste our log object so that it shows us all of the information from these commands as we go. And finally we're going to swap our tokens. So we'll log swapping tokens. Now after removing our liquidity we're going to have a little bit of Doge and a little bit of BNB. So what I want to do to exit this position is turn both of those into USDC. So we're going to say swap tokens. For token in we're going to say Doge. Token out we're going to say USDC. For the amount, we're going to say get token balance. The chain will be Binance Smart Chain. The token will be Doge. So basically, I'm asking it to take all of the Doge that we have in our wallet and convert it to USDC. Let's copy our log object, and then we're going to drag another swap tokens command. This time, we're going to convert BNB into USDC. For the amount, I'm going to say get native token balance because our native token is BNB. For chain, we're gonna say Binance Smart Chain. And remember, we don't wanna sell off all of our BNB, so we're gonna subtract 0.01, and that's gonna leave us with a little bit of gas money. Perfect, let's finish by logging our TX info variable. And now, if I give this a run, it should fully exit my position. Real quick, let's hit Control D. I'm gonna hit Clear Variables so that we can start with a clean slate. And now I'm gonna give this a run and cross my fingers. All right, we are waiting to withdraw from the farm. All right, that works successfully. And here is the data from that transaction. Now we are removing liquidity, All right? We have successfully removed liquidity and now we're swapping our tokens. First up, we're swapping Dogecoin. And finally, we're swapping most of our BNB, leaving just a little bit left over for gas money. All right, and it looks like everything executed correctly, but just to make sure, let's hop back over to our website and we can see that there is no longer anything staked in our farm. And if I open MetaMask, I now have a little bit more gas money, plus about $23 in USDC. And thus concludes our three-part tutorial on how to deposit, compound, and withdraw from liquidity pools and yield farms. Hope this was helpful. Have fun with it, and I'll see you next time.